Okay guys, we're up here fishing today at uh, Bluestone Lake and we're going to be using and reviewing a new rod here guys. We're using the Crappie Thunder from Mr. Crappie with the Sienna 1000. We're going to be using some uh, Finesse TDR baits from Z-Man and Itsy Bitsy Minnow and some Gulp Alive Minnows guys. And um, I think it's a Graphite IM6 Graphite Rod Split Evo Handle and it has oxidized aluminum eye guides they make this in like a six foot six spinning rod and casting rod and a five foot six which this one is and we're trying to fish around here we got a couple of hits on the gulp alive minnow but nothing to commit so far but we're gonna try to catch a couple of fish with it fish are jumping today may have to put a little extra weight on this thing um rod seems to be a little uh not as good as my uh, Shakespeare uh, micro series rod. It does have this hump on it, which kind of takes some use to get into for a jig rod. And the boat traffic has been horrible so far. But, uh, you know, we're going to try casting it out. It does cast nice. And uh, it is an ultralight rod. So it should, in theory, work fairly well. I've had a few hits on this lure, but. Oh, there. Oh. I think we either got something or we got snagged. Yeah, we got snagged. We have to go. Oh, there it goes. Let go. All right. That was a snag. We got our bait back. Almost had to shut the video off here for a minute. <laughs> okay, we still got our bait and everything else. And uh, just fish it. We're doing some finesse fishing here today, guys. And we got the Shimano uh, Daiwa. Um, I got the Daiwa Samurai X Rod, too. We're going to be using that for the TDR bait and the bitsy, Itsy Bitsy Minnow. Lure, maybe we might catch something on that as well today. Right now we're using the uh Okay, we got one guys. I don't know what it is, probably a bluegill. There we go. We got a nice fish here. We got a bluegill finally. Oh, and he let loose. Dang it. Ah, uh, he hit it on the drop. We caught a bluegill, but we didn't get him in because we didn't have him hooked good enough, I guess. Dang it. Well, these bluegill are really active at the surface. And, oh, man, we missed one again. They're all over the place up here. It seems I'm getting better hits over here. I missed the bluegill. Dang it. I finally caught one. been out here for about an hour and finally get one hooked. And then I didn't get him into the boat. Dang it. I knocked some of this rust off of here. Damn, my line's all tangled up and everything else. There you go, man. These boats ain't making it any better neither, guys. I got ski boats, bass boats, everything just running out in front of me. It was a dang bluegill I just had and I missed him. It's definitely a different type of fishing in this lake compared to the other lakes I've fished at. It's definitely a little bit trickier. I spent an hour out here, didn't catch nothing. Plus that, there's a lot of dead bugs and there's plenty of bait out here for them to eat besides just a minnow. There, oh, there we got one right there. Got one, finally. It's a small one, but it's a fish. I ain't complaining. There you guys go. <laughs> Finally caught one. Little bluegill on the gulp alive minnow. Uh, come on, mister. Oh, yeah, the rod holds up pretty good. Like I said, it's not as good as the Shakespeare. That's a nice little tiny bluegill. It's not a beast, but it'll work. We're using that tiger fly color pattern here which is a decent color. We could probably change it to a different color if we wanted to. Of course, my line's all screwed up, wrapped and everything else. Can't even reset the hook on this thing if I wanted to. I'm gonna have to. I got fish jumping all over me, guys. It's the first time I've ever fished in here, so this is a, sort of a challenge for me. I missed one and got one, so. Like I said, it wasn't a giant bluegill, but it was a bluegill. I ain't complaining.
these boats is just murder, man. Man, this wake is terrible. <laughs> this is a part of fishing in a lake that has a lot of boat traffic, guys. Uh, felt like I got a hit, but it wasn't a hit. These uh, bluegill are all over the place over here, guys. There's dead bugs everywhere. But you got all these dang boats, man. It doesn't make it any better. Uh, the Mr. Crappie Thunderstick is holding up pretty well. I mean, it's not the best rod I've ever used, but I, I don't think it's as good as my Shakespeare rod, but it's not a bad rod. It works. You see all this wake, man, I got to deal with? <laughs> it's making fishing intolerable, especially when you're in a kayak. It's the uh, the downs and the, the do's and the, and the not do's of fishing in a kayak, guys is dealing with the wake of boats and stuff like that we caught two that i guess it ain't terrible i reckon but uh you know we'll see how far it goes and persists in the day uh water temperature is pretty uh pretty high it's like in the uh 60 70s probably if I had a guess, you can see all these dang fish jumping out in front of me, man. This is insane. They're up here blowing up on these bugs. Maybe I'll catch another one. I'll tell you what, though. This rod is a little stiffer than my than my uh, Shakespeare Ultralight. Way stiffer. It's almost like you can barely feel a hit. You know, on that other ultralight I had, man, you could feel every little hit. So, you know, it, I give it a little bit of low marks because it's, you know, it's a little too stiff for my, you know, for what I like. I mean, the micro rod from Shakespeare is an excellent rod. It's just so flimsy. All right. Oh, I caught a weed. Oh, I thought I had a fish there for a minute, but I had a stick instead. That's perks of fishing, guys. Catch a weed or a stick or whatever. Uh, it's not been very productive here today, guys, but maybe we might catch a crappie or a bluegill again. There is crappie in here, catfish and bluestone, smallmouth bass, largemouth bass, and uh, walleye and yellow tigerfly perch. And several other species of fish in here. Just trying to catch them is a pain in the butt. Um, not really getting too much on this minnow. I may switch over to a TDR bait from. And try a Ned rig, like a micro finesse Ned rig here in a minute. Just to see if I catch a bass or maybe something along that line. I'll just use this one up for a while and then if. We don't catch anything on the TDR finesse uh, watermelon pumpkin sea bait. We'll go to the. Uh... Okay, guys, we got the uh, Z Man finesse TDR baits. So it's basically a mini Ned rig. This is the type of hook you guys want to use for that mini Ned rig. It has like a little barb on the back which holds it together, which is a Ned rig um, finesse um, Z Man hook like that. You just tie it like that. Get yourself one of these little baits out and they float and they stick up like that. So we might be able to catch a bluegill or something with them. We'll try it out. I don't really have much luck with these little Ned rigs, but it's a uh, watermelon pumpkin seed color. So that should be a decent color for out here. Might even catch a bass. We don't know. Make sure you put it on there just right through the center of it. Should be good enough right there, as you can see it. On the hook here, we got it on the Samurai uh, 255 Samurai X Daiwa with six pound test. And we'll try to catch something with it.
Man. This Daiwa Samurai X does cast really well, guys. I like it. I've not had one tangle up with it so far. But I'm using lighter lines, so that might be a thing. I don't know how good net rigs will work in here. I don't know, but we'll try it out. Should be able to catch a lot of different species of fish on this, like bluegill and maybe a uh, bass or two. If they're hitting, I mean, there's a lot of activity ab above the surface here. Probably catch more fish on a wacky worm than you would a. Uh, maybe we need to get into a spot where they're at. See a lot of activity over here on the top of the water. I tried to find like the little micro uh, stoneflies they got for this, and I could not find a Z-Man micro stonefly to save my life. But I see a lot of activity over here. Looks like a bunch of bluegills maybe eating bugs at the surface. Might be able to pick one up over here on this TDR bait. Not sure. A lot of structure over here, so there might be a fish. The only downside about fishing over here is a lot of dead trees and stuff. Ugh. I might get snagged up. That's the only downside about fishing with a uh, fishing with Ned rigs. It's uh, you get hung up a lot with Ned rigs. It's the only downside about them. Plus that, this boat traffic is murder on me. GoPro, stop recording. Okay, guys, we didn't catch nothing hardly today. New lake. I usually catch more at my other lake. If you guys like this video, um, please hit the like, share, subscribe. We tried our best with the itsy bitsy minnow. Nothing really took it. Uh, we tried the TRD bait from Z-Man. Didn't catch anything on it. And we only squeaked out like almost two bluegill today. Rough day, new lake. It's what to be expected when you're fishing a new body of water that you're not used to. If you guys like this video, hit the like, share, and subscribe. This has been your old pal Hondo. Hondo out.